get off the rails on that tangent let me stop right there but i just and there's you know as i always say no extra charge for mistakes uh first of all i hope you guys are doing great i always jump right in here because i'm you know i do these videos so just kind of haphazardly and I, I jump in here and just turn this stuff on and and i just did the live stream a minute ago with uh, michael palmisano we're getting that together with the guitar gate thing he's a great guy jack roosh is doing it and a few other people's uh a uh, few other people are doing it as well. Um, so, but anyway, guys, I just hope you guys are having a great week. Um, man, it's been full tilt boogie. Last weekend was crazy. That's why I haven't been on here in a minute. Uh, went down Friday night. Um, a buddy of mine runs BMI here and had uh, a couple tickets to go see Billy Strings at the Bridgestone Arena. Right? Phenomenal. I'm gonna I'm gonna get into some cool stuff here in a minute with that chord progression, uh, which there's so much you can do with that. Um, another great platform for learning stuff and working stuff out. But um, went and saw Billy Strings. I was completely blown away. Two nights sold out at the Bridgestone. He walked out with a kick-ass band. Alex Hargraves, the fiddle player, used to tour with us uh, when he was a kid with Jerry Douglas uh, on the road. And he's from uh, Oregon. He's from Corvallis, Oregon. It's so funny I can remember that. But anyway... Um, one of the few things I can remember, but so Alex is just a genius musician and Billy's band is fantastic. Um, and they walked out there in a, to, a, to a sold out arena and played traditional bluegrass. And then they got a little jammy and they got a little psychedelic, but they brought it back every time. And Billy went out and did a, a, an acapella song. He did a song on the banjo. Uh, you get a line, I'll get a pole. Just a good classic. And then, um, and then they took a break. And then they opened up the second set with Bela Fleck playing the banjo, just sitting there by himself. And you could hear a pin drop in the Bridgestone Arena, which was amazing. So I went from Pantera one week at the Bridgestone to Billy Strings the next, which was a, a pretty, um, a pretty uh, uh, big uh, uh, gap in genres there, right? Or uh, however you'd say that, but um, for lack of a better term, but pretty wild. So... Then I went and saw him Sunday night at the uh, Ryman, right? And he did a completely different set. They sat down. It looked like MTV unplugged, and they uh, there was no upright bass. He played electric bass, a hollow body uh, Gibson, and then they had uh, uh, Ronnie McCurry came out and Molly Tuttle and a couple other guests and stuff. But but uh, um, Saturday night I didn't go, and Sam Bush and Brian Sutton were guests and stuff. So that was pretty cool to get to. Uh, Go check out the Billy Strings stuff. And um, man, we are so close to getting this Uncle Larry record out. We just confirmed today the manufacturing for the CDs, and then it'll be available to you really soon. We're gonna be doing some promo for that. We'll do some couple videos and and try to, you know, have a we'll have an official release date uh, as soon as we figure out how long it's gonna take the CDs to get to get back to us. And so we don't wanna 
cause more work for ourselves and put a release date out and then not have the shit ready to go. So, um, so there's all that. Hope you guys are doing good. Everything's good here. Um, got the Key West Songwriters Festival confirmed for May. I'll be playing with Robert Randolph and my good buddy Dylan Altman as well as singer-songwriter, uh, like one of the greatest, uh, a guy named Chuck Cannon that I've known since I was a teenager. Check out Chuck Cannon's music. Uncle Larry plays guitar on a lot of his records, and it is high-level music and, and art, art, art and uh, songwriting. So uh, looking forward to that. New York City, going to Miami uh, next week for a little vacation with Kalen. We're going to go down and do uh, about five days in Miami Beach just to get some sun and mess around. We've never been to Miami Beach, uh, and we thought, why not go down there and check it out? Our buddy uh, that just got back said it's amazing, so we'll go check that out and just keep the ball rolling, but um, and all that good stuff. Anyway, so right now, I would like to show you a little bit of what that chord progression is, and you know what song this, this comes from, but due to the copyright stuff on, on here, I'm not going to... I'm not going to um, get into the exact melody. It might be public domain by now. I have no idea. But but um, anyway, so uh, this chord progression, C major, just a good old C major. And the, the, good, the good thing about a great song is you can record it in any genre. So think about like a great song, like take a Bob Marley song or something like that 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 you could record bluegrass style. You could do it country, you could do it rock, you can do it reggae, you can do it blue, whatever. It's just good songs are good songs across the board. And so this is one of them. And it's just C. So if I was gonna slow that down, C to G. Right? G, G7, back to C. Now to E. So E is the three chord of C. So we're going to go to E major, E7, F, back to C, right? Turn around, G, C. This is a great chord progression for working your chord shapes out up the neck. Um, it's also great for uh, these little walk downs and walk ups. So if I'm going, if I kick this song off, let's go to... Now I'm going to go to the A shape and play the whole thing out of the A shape, right? I'm going to walk up, walk down to G, E7, F, walk down. in the bluegrass style. Chromatic in E on the, uh, sorry, chromatic on the E string, up to G, chromatic on A, up to C. If you learn a lick in one spot, learn it everywhere. Play it as much places as you can as many places as you can. So this is such a great chord progression for, for working out things uh, in all these different chord, uh, chord shapes, right? So maybe try going to your G shape. That's the, the D shape G chord, so. Slide down, right? system works that's the beauty of the cage system it's just helping you see this stuff everywhere go down to this c shape here uh. now you don't have to do this like, kind of like fake finger picking thing that i'm doing you can just do this alternate that bass right Seven. 
don't see. Okay, now there's also these other little cool pentatonic walk downs, you know. simple but it, it's it's really cool because it lands right in that pocket so well right uh oh sorry but your hand position has to be hip to that that thing there playing these lead lines you know like something like this so this works so well over these uh, changes like little things like you know as you want, right? So... stuff in. So if you want to do the two, five, one. All that stuff is there because you're just dealing with this really cool. It's just one to the five. Well, if I'm playing over the five chord, it's always going to be the dominant seven. So I'm going to always treat that as a G7. sound right so F you can play this the F dominant seven same scale right over the F then C so the thing about this chord progression that's cool is you can play major stuff and get kind of hillbilly with it you know or you can play kind of jazzy. So that's all just coming from the framework of, you know, all the the uh, chord inversions up the neck and stuff like that. But anyway, I mean, I could go on, on and on and on about this. Maybe this is a part two kind of thing, but but just that, you know, these little... Because 
because when you hit that five chord, it's about hearing the tension and how cool it is to connect these ideas. Like if I go, you know, which is E shape, up to the C shape. Then if I go, well, that's G7. So. But, but guys, here's the thing. So there's so much noise out there. There's so many people. There's, we're, we're pumping this content at you all day long, every day. Man, what's going to make this easier for you guys? What do you really want to see? What do you really want to hear? What do you really want to learn? You know, um, I mean, this is the crazy part is you get on this YouTube or you get on Instagram or something like that, and it is just endless. All of our buddies are just constantly pumping out stuff, and it's like, what do you guys really want to see? What do you guys want to hear? You know, do you want me to come in here with my buddies and 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 have a conversation and and just talk about how we do all this stuff or 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 how you know they they figured it out or or what or you know should we go to a bar or a restaurant and do it do it there? Let's do something fun. Let's do let's do something interesting because I think the the amount of content that and noise that's out there is just like you know it's a new pedal, it's a new this, it's a new that. It's like Man, let's get back to just doing something simple like this, right? Let's have some fun. Let's keep this light. Let's 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 play some wrong notes. Let's let's um let's make some mistakes so we can figure out where we need to go next time. Um, we're all learning together. I really appreciate appreciate you guys. I know this video was kind of all over the place. Maybe this is a part two because there's so much you can do with that chord uh, progression. But don't worry about all that other stuff I was playing. Learn the chord progression and start outlining the chords. Learn it in a bunch of different spots on the fingerboard. And I swear to God, some cool stuff will happen and you'll start figuring some stuff out. But uh, guys, thanks a million. Uh, check out the links below. Check out the tip jug. I got to say that because you guys are so generous and, and that really is awesome. And um, I can't send a thank you on PayPal. For some reason, it's not letting me. But I'll if you if you do donate something, I'll send you a nice email uh, through the, the your actual email address that's on there. So anyway, thanks for that. Check out everything. We got new t-shirts. We got all kinds of stuff. All the courses, all the lessons. The immersion experiences are booking like crazy, which is just so fun. That's a half day or a full day uh, hanging out with me here in Nashville, doing the deep dive of a couple hours of guitar lessons, and then just having a, a, a you know what we do every day in this town, which is going out and meeting people and hanging with our buddies and and going in hearing great music and eating great food. So hey, thanks a bunch, y'all. See you soon, and uh, rock on. All right, cheers. <laughs>